Is this man perhaps the unluckiest man in Ireland? It is often said that some people were born under a lucky star. And if so, by extension, some people must have been born under an unlucky star. One such person may be the subject of today's video. Meet Mr. Paul Afumbum. He's a man who has come to grace Ireland with his presence from Cameroon. And how lucky we are to have him. Well, as it turns out, Mr. Afumbum here suffered a very unfortunate incident on Christmas Eve in 2021. Whilst driving near the airport in Dublin, he got into a bit of a traffic accident. Somebody ran into the back of his car. Something which happens from time to time on the roads, especially with all the extra traffic we have these days. Mr. Fumbum was so distressed with the whole incident and the damages to his car and to himself that he thought, well, 60 grand will probably sort things out and get me back on the straight and level. So he decided, despite advice to the contrary, to take the case not to the district court, which has a, an upper ceiling of compensation of 15,000 euros, but to the circuit civil court which has a much higher threshold. He wouldn't hear tell of any advices that his actual claim was probably only worth about six or seven thousand euros at most. He wanted the full 60 grand. 60 grand or bust was probably what he thought to himself. So off to the circuit court they went. Well, things started to go slightly awry for Mr. Afumbum when Judge Fiona Sullivan decided, made it clear, that the case, in her view, should never have been taken to the circuit court, that the district court was more than adequate to deal with the compensation, which she adjudicated to be seven and a half thousand euros. A bit of a far cry from the 60,000 that Mr. Afumbum was claiming. Judge O'Sullivan also said she accepted it was an appropriate case for making differential costs order against a fum bum. You see, Mr. A fum bum had been advised that should he insist on taking this case to the higher court where he could claim more money, it would of course cost extra for legal fees, for legal representations. You've a lot more people involved. A much more expensive outing for everybody involved, including himself. And should his case for some reason be deemed to have been brought to the wrong court, then the defendants in the case uh, might be liable to reclaim some of those expenses from Mr. Fumbum for having gone knowingly to the wrong court. It seems on this occasion Judge Fiona O'Sullivan Agreed. When the defendant's RSA insurance is compensated for the proceedings having been brought in the wrong court and a fum bum's own legal team is paid, he will probably walk away significantly out of pocket in a case in which he had hopes of winning up to €60,000 damages. Very unlucky indeed. But that's not where the unluckiness ends. You see, there's more. There's always more. Not only was Mr. Afumbum unlucky to be rear-ended in his car on Christmas Eve 2021, it seems he was also unlucky to be rear-ended other times too. He was involved in traffic incidents, traffic accidents, in 2023, in 2020, in 2019, in 2015, in 2013 and 2011. As unluckiness goes, I think we could all agree Mr. Fumbum is quite prolific and arising out of these accidents and the claims that went along with them, he had received in excess of 41,000 euros. Unlucky he may well be, but it seems very clear to me that in this day and age, even unluckiness can be very profitable. Now, the more sceptical among you may be thinking to yourselves, well, something seems a little bit fishy with all this, but 
Hold your scepticism, I say. Let's give this man a chance. He may be just as honest as the day is long. Just unlucky. Just unfortunate. Why, here he is again. It seems he was once more rear-ended in traffic, causing mayhem and distress to the tune of, as he assumed, 60,000 euros. Now, where have I heard that figure before? On this occasion... Mr. Fumbum claimed he suffered post-traumatic stress syndrome with anxiety and depression and headaches following the accident in 2013, again in December. Pure coincidence, I'm sure. On this occasion, he wasn't uh, unfortunate in the vicinity of the airport. No, he was unfortunate near Newlands Cross. As the old saying goes, he gets around. Alas, on this occasion... There was to be no 60,000 euros worth of joy for Mr. Afombum, as the judge was having none of it, and even his own solicitor representing him asked to be taken off record on the basis of, as he put it, a breakdown of trust. Now I can already hear the wailing and moaning and crying and screeching of the few woke people who come to view my channel just to hate watch me, and let me just say, I love you, I love you all, misguided as you are, I still appreciate you. Protesting that I'm, I'm just coming down on this poor unfortunate man because he's a black African man, he's a man of African descent. He is as honest as the day is long and I'm just being tough, I'm being hard on him, I'm just singling him out. This is an honest man, this is a virtuous man, can't you see he's black? Oh, well then there's also the small matter of this. Our dear friend and friend of the channel now Mr. Afumbum was handed down a two-year suspended sentence for a check fraud. Uh, so there's that. My advice to you, my dear subscribers and viewers, if you ever should find yourself in traffic behind a vehicle driven by Paul Afumbum, change lanes. Change lanes. But apart from his uh, seeming unluckiness in traffic matters, is there anything else we can tell or know about Mr. Paul Fumbum? Well, actually there is. It seems he has his own website. Let's take a look-see, shall we? <laughs> Seriously. Sometimes the jokes just write themselves. So if you find yourself in the position where you're in desperate need of a professional transport planner, why not hire Paul Afumbum for all your professional transport needs? A man who, it seems, on the basis of uh, some evidence at least, has a certain amount of difficulty transporting himself with any degree of safety. Both for him and uh, whoever happens to be unfortunately travelling behind him. But maybe I'm being unfair here. Maybe, as I said at the beginning, he's just unlucky. He's just unfortunate. He's a victim of circumstance in a traffic sense. What do you think? What's your theory on this? Could I be wrong? Is he not just unlucky? Is there more to it? As always, my comment section is at your beck and call. I humbly invite you all to opine as you see fit.